Oh, real life here. We got a car going the wrong way on the expressway. Are you serious? This is real. So these are impatient drivers. I am not making this up. Several people have gotten impatient. They're driving the wrong way. You can see that car in my mirror. They're driving the wrong way on the expressway. That's a ticket. I've never done that in my life. Don't put yourself in that situation. You can get a ticket for that, and I hope they get a ticket because they are selfish and dangerous, and that's going to cost someone else to react like that. So now we see road rage. Now we see a person who is dangerous, putting themselves in danger. We've been sitting here 25 to 27 minutes. If you can't sit there that long because someone's life is in jeopardy, the struggle is real out here. And I'm not just saying this to you. I'm telling you the truth. I've been sitting here. I'm exhausted. I came into the country about 440 this morning. And then I went straight to the lab. Right to work. Instead of going home resting for a couple hours, it wasn't worth it with the heavy traffic. So I just drove straight to the lab, went to work. But around 315, my body crashed. If you don't know what that means, you literally just start falling asleep. Your heart rate starts dropping. You start nodding off. That was happening to me. So I knew I was in danger. So I went and, and got a, a milkshake. I, I got something to eat and I rested three to five minutes, right? Then from there, I said, man, I got to get on this road, get in this heavy traffic. And I took my time. I was driving 55, driving 60, even though the speed limit was 70. I saw multiple state police, right? Uh, pulling over cars. I saw rear end collisions. I said to myself, man, this is going to be a long way. And I almost took a different route home. You need to learn more than one route. Okay. Are you guys listening to me? I strongly suggest you listen. You need to learn more than one route home. Okay. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I'm telling you best practice. We're sitting here. I decided to share this with you and educate you. And hopefully you learn that you can't just make random decisions like this. Like that car we just saw who decided to turn around and go the wrong way on the expressway. Who does that? That is so dangerous and selfish. Okay. Uh, probably about a half or half an hour now and I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna flip this I am concerned about my oil temperature it's 210 my uh, oil pressure okay and it see my gauges have changed my trans temp is 201 that's a little serious we've been sitting here air intake is 145 we're not really moving uh, it's, it's, it's hot air out here, so the motor's running hot. Um, the, tr uh, the coolant temperature's 210. I'm okay with that. So, obviously, oh, oh, I see people getting out of the vehicle now. We don't know what's going on, so people are going to start, like, tweaking out. Uh, you know, trying to do a U-turn on the expressway to take the nearest exit. People, I'm going to, I want to see, don't do that unless the state police have told you to turn around. Don't put yourself in that danger. Uh, you're gonna create a bottleneck and then you're possibly going to get a ticket for reckless driving, endangering others. Be patient. We're all sitting here. Everyone's okay. You know, we're, we're gonna make it. Um, and let me flip this and see this. So now people are getting out of the car. Uh, also, I'm in the no zone. I'm going to show you this semi truck, right? The no zones are the left side, right? Another car's driving the wrong way on the expressway on the, on the right. Um, I'm going to pan. I'm in the blind spot of this truck. I'm going to go all the way around. You can see all this track. No one's moving. There's, oh, this other car just turned around. They did a U turn. I'm going to try to show you. You see that vehicle? They just did a U turn. It's not worth it, okay? Uh, the other car just turned around too. You can see this white car, look under the trailer. There's the white car, right? This guy is trying to turn around. 
could be my neighbor. You never know. But we're here. It's been about 40 minutes now. And I told you this. Uh, I'm about 20 minutes away from home. It's been 40 minutes. So I'm looking at my vitals again. I'm at a little less than half a tank, so I'm not going to run out. Uh, my trans temperature, whew, 201. What would you do? My cooling temperature is 210. I'm okay with that. Uh, intake temperature, 145. I'm okay with my vitals, right? So you just have to know your vehicle. I'm going to go to my other gauges. The oil pressure is 25. I'm fine with that. It's a thousand. Uh, it's 10 pounds per thousand, so I'm fine with that. Oil temperature is 215. I'm okay with that. And then the battery voltage is 13.5. So uh, health-wise, my motor's fine. Um, the semi truck up there had the four-way flashers on. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. That semi truck up there had the four-way flashers on, but they're off now. So that could be promising sign. Don't know. Uh, drivers here really can't see another car. Just went. Oh, sh now they're flying. Um, I've never done that in my life. And I wouldn't do it because it's very scary. There are hundreds, if not thousands of cars stuck behind me. They're leaving the downtown metropolitan area going up out of the country to our brothers to the north, which is Canada. So what do you do? You just sit here. And, and do best practice, you become safe. The only way we would do a turnaround, if the state police started telling people to turn around. And even then, it's no guarantee, right? Oh, traffic is starting to move a little bit. This is promising. And I just wanted to share this with you. And I'm gonna keep moving some. And you'll be able to see the oil pressure, right? So we're starting to move. This is, whew, there's a beautiful Grand National over there. I don't know if you know what that is. If you do, shout it out, right? So we're starting to move. Thank God. And we don't know what happened. It could be to see our see cars cutting off. So we had to sit here about 45 minutes. You just have to be patient. And you gotta look. Now I wanna get out of the blind spots of this truck. Thank God we're moving again. But also people start going 80, 90, 100 because they gotta fly and get home, fly and use the bathroom, uh, pick up dinner. It's not worth it, okay? We're just cruising about 68, 69 miles an hour, taking our time. You saw a lot of people who were not patient. And I hope you learn from this. Be patient. Don't let people change your driving DNA. Because the, and I'm looking around the curve, and it looks pretty safe. And I'm just taking my time. So you learn a real-life situation. Be patient. Don't drive the wrong way on the expressway. You're creating a hazard that is greater than the accident or the fatality on the road because we don't know what happened because there were three police cars, two ambulances, and two tow trucks. That could have been a road over fatality. Those are really dangerous. All right, I got a GoPro right now, so I'm safe. I'm looking ahead, and I'm just easing up around the curve looking up where the semi-truck is and being nice and smooth and trying to be safe and not turning the wheel so much. You want to find a speed that is smooth and constant. You cannot go over the speed limit on your DMV test or road test. So I'm just trying to give you best practice. The roads here are very bumpy. In California, they were very smooth, very beautiful. So in the northern states, we hit use salt. California does not have that. Never rains in Southern California. So we got our edge line to the right. That's that white line. See, now I see the backup coming. I'm looking around a curve. I'm teaching you and showing you how to drive in this. And I'm just squeezing my brake real easy and being really smooth and deliberate because I do not want to get rear-ended. 
Because if you hit your brakes hard, you're going to get rear-ended. And if you've seen my content before, I teach you how to drive smoothly, how to keep space. And now I'm going to squeeze my brakes some more. And just take my time. And as long as you're moving, I'm fine with this. I'm good with it. So let's review. There was an accident, a fatality. I received a text from the state police and someone has passed. So let's just take a moment. I need all of you to be safe out here. And if this brought you value, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and use this as best practice to be safe. Thank you. Bye.